there are lots of courses that math majors take. And one of the courses that you take is called Complex Variables. And this is a good course to take early on in your undergraduate career. It's a good course for engineers, so for an engineering major, take it. The prereq is calculus, so you have to know some calculus, calc 1, calc 2, calc 3, and some proof writing. And so when I took this course, I, I took it you know, fairly early on in my undergraduate career as a math major. And I remember the first test, I thought I did really well. And I was sitting in class, I remember I sat on the right side of the class, uh, kind of like in the back a little bit. And <laughs> I had this friend in class, we, we just had a lot of fun, I, I just remembered him. He, uh, he would always make jokes and he would make fun of the teacher, it was, it was really bad, but we had fun. The teacher was great. And so the teacher got up in front of the class and he started you know, talking about the test. He said he graded our test and that not a single math major got an A on the test. And that's when I knew that I didn't get an A because I was a math major. Then he went on to say that the only people in the class who got A's on this first exam in complex variables were the engineers. So only the engineers got A's. And he was pissed, he was upset. He said, I can't believe this. This is unacceptable. You all are math majors, you need to step it up. I mean, the engineers are getting A's, the math majors are not getting A's. What is going on? And he looked at the class and he said, you need to take it seriously. And it's true, you, you, you do need to take it seriously. So why in the world am I saying don't take math too seriously. It's because there comes a time when you need a break. And sometimes you're not even aware that you need that break. Because sometimes things just take time. I'm, I'm, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about all of the things that took me so much work and so much time and so much energy and so much effort to learn because math is extremely hard. I always have a hard time when people say, oh, math is easy, I'm really good at math. That's great, that's great. I'm, I'm glad that you're good at math, but you get to a level where everyone struggles and I didn't really see that until I went to graduate school. You know, you go to graduate school and you're surrounded by these people who are the best of the best. These are the best people at math and they're all struggling and it's humbling. So sometimes when you're, when you're trying to learn math, you need to take a break and you don't even know it. You don't, you don't even know it. I'll, I'll give you an example and I've probably given this example before, but if you haven't seen my videos, so I'll, I'll try to keep it short and not make it super boring but it's important. So when I was taking pre-calculus, uh, we were studying mathematical induction. So mathematical induction, for those of you that don't know, um, is a very basic, elegant, and proof technique. It's a proof technique. So first of all, I did not understand why it worked. I remember spending hours, literally hours, I probably spent two hours one afternoon looking at the book, trying to understand why induction works. And I just could not, I could not figure it out. I could not understand why it worked. And I remember going through my notes and the teacher gave this example with dominoes and the book had a picture of dominoes. It's like once one, once one domino falls, it hits the others. And I'm like, I, I don't understand why they're talking about dominoes. And all I needed in order to really understand induction was someone to explain it to me in a way that I could understand. Is that my fault? Is that someone else's fault? I don't think blame is a good thing. I think maybe it's just that I wasn't ready for it. And maybe I would have understood it with a better explanation, but I can't look back and say 
Yeah, that's, that's what it was. I, I can't say that for certain. So I just needed time, right? And that's an example of, you know, when you're working really hard and you're pushing really hard and, you, and you're just not getting results. And, and sometimes you, you don't know when to stop pushing. You know, another example was, again, pre-calc, uh, matrices. You know, when you, when you learn linear algebra, you learn about finding the inverse of a matrix. So you take this matrix and you put it in this other matrix called an augmented matrix. Then you use what's called row operations and you put your matrix into what's called reduced row echelon form. It's a fun word, echelon. Anyways, then you find the inverse of a matrix. And I remember I had a test the next day and I remember it was 11.37 p.m. I remember the time. And I was like, I'm so tired. My hand hurts from doing math. I cannot get these dumb problems correct. I was so frustrated because I kept making computational errors. And I was just pushing too hard. Eventually I went to bed. Um, I just kept making mistakes. I think I went to bed like at one or two in the morning, got up at seven, had my coffee and my eggs, went to school, took the test. And I think I got the question right on the test. I got the inverse matrix question correct. But I, I, I think sometimes you just need to break. You, you just need to break and not push so hard. I'm not saying don't work hard. I'm not saying don't take it seriously. I'm saying don't take it too seriously. Sometimes you just need time. A bigger example, perhaps a more profound one, other than just like understanding induction or, or being able to understand matrices, is logarithms, right? Basic algebra. You know, that's something that I, I just didn't get. You know, the reason that I didn't get an A in my college algebra class was because of logarithms. I, I did what I could, I struggled. It ruined my 4.0. I didn't have a 4.0 because of logs. And here I am, years later, uh, recording a video for uh, some random math channel on YouTube. <laughs> so, yet I didn't understand logs. So the point is, you can do it and sometimes it just takes Time. You know, I, I moved on from college algebra. I got my B that I deserved. I did not deserve an A. I don't even like the word deserve. I feel that, you know, you, you work hard for stuff in life and you get what you get, right? I, I don't think people deserve anything. I think we work hard and we take what we can get from that. So don't take it too seriously. You know, if you're, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, ah, I'm struggling, I, I can't understand what's going on in class, I hate my teacher, I hate this, this is horrible. It's okay, there's, there's other things in life besides math, and sometimes a break is necessary, even when you don't know you need one. I wanna emphasize that sometimes you don't know that you need a break, and, and I'll give you another really dramatic example, and this one's almost embarrassing. When I was in grad school, I, uh, I forget where I was, I, I was traveling. It was the summer or something or Christmas break and I had left, right? I had left the city I was living in uh, for grad school. And I walked into a McDonald's restaurant and I ordered a large chocolate shake. And I remember when I got that shake, how happy I was. I was so happy. And the girl looked at me and she said, you look so happy like you've never had a chocolate shake before. And I was just so happy to have that McDonald's chocolate shake. And it's because, this is gonna sound really, really bad and strange. It's because all I was doing was math. I was in this apartment and I still have my desk, but I don't have it here. I had this desk, which I named. I, I gave my desk a name. I, I created a Facebook page for it. And this is when Facebook first came out, by the way. And that's all I had, I had one chair and a desk, and I slept on the floor for like a year. Uh, that's another story. And so I was living like a monk. I was like isolated from the world, obsessing over mathematics. I was just obsessed. I would wake up in the morning, I would go teach a class that I had to teach, which was, was a hard class to teach, probably the hardest class I've ever taught. And then I would take some classes, take the bus home, and then just work on math. I had some friends that were really good people, really good friends, and when we hung out, we would just do math, you know? It was just always math. And so my entire life revolved around mathematics. So when I saw that chocolate shake at McDonald's, it was like,
the Holy Grail. I'm like, oh, a chocolate shake from McDonald's. And these are things that normal people do, right? Normal people go out, they go to restaurants, they, they have interactions. But when you, when you obsess over something for so long and you take it too seriously, you tend to deprive yourself of the other things in life. Things as simple as a chocolate shake from McDonald's, you know? And yeah, so, so don't take it too seriously. Sometimes you need a break. It's okay to take a break. And I, I wanna really drive that point home, especially for people who are really obsessed about math, like me. <laughs> so, don't force yourself to take a break sometimes, you know? Take it seriously, but don't take it too seriously. You never know when you need that break. And people talk about like moments of brilliance, like all of a sudden it clicked, it was that one little thing. It's because a lot of times when you're trying to figure something out, there's like one little thing or two little things that you don't understand. And then you can look in different books, you can look on the internet, um, you can look and it's very, very hard to find an answer that you understand. A lot of times you'll get the same explanation three different times. And nowadays we have AI. You can use AI to help you when you're stuck, but honestly, I, I don't trust it. <laughs> so it is confidently wrong. I've used it multiple times and now it's like, you know, I'll stick to my books and my, my own reasoning because it doesn't have like the perfect reasoning skills. It makes mistakes and mistakes are painful. Like I said, one little thing is what you're missing and then if AI gives you the wrong answer, it just makes it worse. So sometimes you just need a break. You just need a break. And I, I, I read the comments here on the channel. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll see comments from people who are really young. By young, I mean like under 18. And they're in high school, sometimes middle school. And they're obsessed with math. That's all they do. And they feel like they're isolating themselves because their friends don't want to hang out with them because all they're doing is math all day. And I've gotten emails like this from people, people who say that they don't have any friends and they're just obsessed with math. And don't take it too seriously, right? There's other things in life. You know, if, if you're under 18, you know, go to school, you know, make friends, talk to friends, you know, play sports, you know, have social interactions. They are good for you. But Keep your head on your shoulders, as they say, and stay grounded and keep focusing on the math. So take it seriously, just not too seriously. And know that in the long run, if you're one of these people who's obsessed with math and you're under 18 and you have no friends, I've gotten a lot of emails like this, uh, worry not, right? Life gets better, right? Life is not just about high school, right? There's this uh, old joke or this old thing that used to be on the internet. It was this thing where like, it would show people in high school, like all the nerds in high school would get picked on. And then the nerds in high school end up being like, you know, the leaders of the world, right? They get jobs in math and computer science and they create things and they create change in the world. It's, uh, it's kind of a fun thing that uh, I saw once on the internet. But yeah, don't take it too seriously. Sometimes it just takes time and in time, you know, you'll, you'll get better, you'll get better. So that's all I had to say in this video, just a random rant kind of video because I know what it's like to not understand. I know what it's like to get stuck. Math is hard, it takes time, and yeah, sometimes you just need a break. So take it seriously. You should take whatever you're trying to accomplish in life seriously, but don't take it too seriously and realize that sometimes you need a break and you don't even know it. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. I do have another channel. It's called The Internet Sourcer. I post random content there, so check that out if you want. Also, I have courses, math courses, college algebra, trig, calc one, two, three, differential equations, advanced calculus, abstract algebra, etc. They're all on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses, but if you get them, Please use my links from my website. It helps me greatly and I've lowered the prices. My website is freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com, one of the two. And uh, yeah, check out my courses. They're, they're pretty good. Some of them have assignments, some of them don't. They're all good, there's no mistakes. 
It's all good mathematics. Some of them have proofs. The proofs are very, very clean. I'm gonna try to make some more um, proof videos here for the channel as well. I think, I think those help people. Proof writing is challenging for people to, to learn and to, to master. Plus I enjoy making the videos. Don't take it too seriously. If you're struggling with math, it's gonna be okay, right? It's gonna be all right. If, if, you're, if you're thinking you're behind, it's gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. Keep doing mathematics.